Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. All right, let's see. Before I get into the advanced rocketry, uh, I really need to do one minor progression when it comes to the wither. Uh, let me see. I need my sleeping bag first to switch the day. The night today. There we go. And let's go outside. Whoop. Lag spike. Okay. Whoop. Alright, let's see. Over here... We have the Wither Builder, or I'm sorry, the the manual Wither Destroyer for right now. It's a mob crusher behind the glass. So the first thing that I want to create is, of course, the Wither Builder. Let's make one of these because I know it's a quest as well. There's the Wither Builder. And let's get the questinger for this going. Bidding, hooray. Awesome, so let's put this guy in down here. Right here in the center, and then let's see what the working area is. Yeah. The one thing I like about the Wither Builder is the working area is one block above the uh, Wither Builder so that you can put glass, you know, something, so or else it'll build a Wither and then the Wither will destroy the Wither Builder. So I'm glad that they programmed it to take that into consideration. Uh, yeah, so last time I made the box just big enough for the building window. That's the mistake I made in Continuum as well. Sometimes, not all the times, the wither will pop outside of the box. I don't know how, but as long as you make it one more taller than uh, the wither is tall, it shouldn't be a problem. So let's grab some power cables so we can run the power from the the uh, Californium RTG. We'll run it down here and under. Let's get rid of this dirt right here. And let's see, yeah, I want it to be completely hidden. Down here, cool. Do you have power now? You do have power, perfect. And wow, like it goes up fast. Okay, we can hide the working area now because that's good for good enough. Uh, let's see, let's fill in the rest of this stuff now. Like where I don't need, I guess, let me get rid of this one and let's fill in the rest. Make it look nice. Like that, and then I need to access it from here. Let's see, I need it to be open so I can access it. I can still access it like this, but not like that. Can I, yeah, like that. I hope it won't look too silly. Cool, so this is now accessible. All right. All right, all right. Down, down, and access, okay. How about the front now? What's great is now, hmm. I'm wondering if I run, does it have input output energy? energy items wither okay so wither skulls soul sand and last soul sand so wither skulls let me test this out first i want to make 100 percent sure that i have this running so it's hardened platinum glass let's grab the three that we need to seal this baby hardened oh really I had two. I need three. 
Let's see if I can make one more real quick. Yes, good. Had me worried there. And then let's just fill in. It's just the front, right? Yeah. One, two, and three. Now it's sealed. Uh, and then I'm going to decorate it a little bit more later. But first I want to see that this works. So let's grab some soul sand. We'll grab, let's see, one, two, three, four stacks. And then wither skulls. One, two, three. And let's see, like I had an issue in continuum with this thing jamming a lot. So let's pause it and I'll put the wither. Oh, it really, it only takes one at a time. I can't put stacks in. Hmm, okay. So yeah, let's put play. And now it shouldn't matter where we stand. Yep. The automating this thing is what's a pain in the butt. So now, let me, since it only takes one at a time, which I could just manually do it then, uh, the only real benefit to a wither builder would be to automate it. So let's run the cable. Now we ran the cable. Now the only problem is do I have to hit it with an insert without signal so it'll insert. Okay. And then I'm assuming wither skull Soul sand, soul sand. We can just keep all of them open for inputs. Always active. What is the J? Aspect from item stack. Why would you show me that? Okay. This should be good. So now, since we're going to run power or uh, items, we can seal this. Make it nice. And bam, bam. And right here, I'm going to put the chest. Oh, one more. Yeah, there we go. And then, yeah. Put the chest right here. We'll just go grab a regular chest. And I'll place you right here and tag you with an extract active without signal and now let's see will you work for me making two making three making four See, it knocks you back, but it doesn't deal damage, so... Oof, this looks so scary. Like, I'm so... worried. Come on. Create a flight. The thing I worry about is that I did something wrong and that this system's not going to work. So far it seems to be going well. Maybe I should do another extract just in case the unit 
just in case the unit takes uh, doesn't store enough of the items because I threw in enough to get 64 nether stars but we do have all of the other drops that I did not take into consideration but silly me uh, it's gonna be really hard for me to get close there because the way I just set it up is it's only going to uh, it's always going to be on Buffer of items. Yeah, you're full already, so I made a mistake. Item conduit. This is so bad. Why did it go up one? Did I mess it up? Did it really go through all 64 already? That'd be impressive. Okay, so I need to set this to extract, active without signal, and I need this to insert, active without signal. There's the nether stars. There's withering souls, nice! And yeah, supremium essence is pretty bomb. Bombed right there too, 64 nether stars. So yeah, this works, it's just a little bit ugly looking right now. It's my first time trying to make something automated for withers. Okay, so even though it's completely sealed, it still broke these uh, treated woods over here. That's the problem I had when I kept it open. It only broke this side. But yeah, like I was planning on... Let's see. Grab the mattock. Get rid of these corners and see how this looks. And do this. Get rid of that corner. How does that look? I kind of like it. There we go. Alright, so let's try one more thing still extracting. This thing's gonna fill up fast. Maybe I should put down... No. Take these out. And what's funny is I was worried about needing 72 nether stars for uh, upgrading the void ore miner and here we go we got 64 in that little bit of trial and error that I was doing. That's pretty cool. We get sulfur as well. The Supremium Essence, that is really nice. I didn't know it was, uh, uh, well, uh, I knew that the Supremium Essence was going to come from this, but I didn't know that it was going to be a decent amount. So let's see, Soul Sand. I have enough to do 32 more. And the Wither Skulls that I have, they are from the me plugging in a wither into the mob duplicator and the mob farm. So that should be enough for another 32. So let's check this and make sure that this works. And I'll stand over here. like it's working guys successful automated wither well semi semi automated automated would be it being plugged into an ME system right guys so that you can click from far away and say I need this and this many nether stars but uh, this is good for, good enough for me like I can throw in uh, stacks and then just 
go away and come back. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a lot more nether stars in the future. But this is good. What is that? 64 plus uh, another 32. Almost 100 nether stars in this little bit. That looks good to me. Look at that. Works for me. Yeah, I'm digging it. That's cool. That works. That works, my dudes. All right. And what's great is with the Supremium Essence, I can make a Supremium Ingots, which are required for the next tier of Harvest Level. Put that up, put this up. We got cables to put the sleeping bag up because we're not going to need it because we're going right back into advanced rocketry. Getting a little bit of a lag spike. I don't know why. Ah, yeah. ME terminal speeding it up. Great. Awesome. So let's toss our cables in here for a second and let's see where did we leave off on on the advanced rocketry we can make spacesuits we can build a rocket so this is the cool part building a rocket we need a guidance computer uh, a seat a liquid fuel tank liquid fueled engine and a planet ID chip so let's get ready <clears throat> seat we already have two. Probably quest rewards. Oh, hi, hey Zeus Goose, how are you doing? Captain Marvel was actually pretty good. I liked it a lot. Uh, we got the, we went to Alamo Draft House, watched the midnight viewing, and we got the uh, collector's glass from uh, Alamo Draft House. We, we like to do midnight viewings, especially Marvel movies, and collect the glasses, and it, it was it was pretty good. I have my gripes about it, but uh, I like to stay positive, especially like when I'm on stream and stuff. Uh, I need a seat. I need a fuel tank. Yeah, we got 15 of them. I don't know how we got 15. I think they're from uh, the dragon nests that we raided when we when we did like four or five underground dragons in a row. We need rockets. I could have sworn we... Oh no, they're called engines, right? Engine. Let's see. Let's check advanced rocketry. What do we have in here for advanced rocketry? Really? I could have sworn we had some engines. Let's see, advanced rocket engine is titanium iridium alloys. I can make these, but let's see, that is, yeah, just one. So for an engine, it would just be five of these titanium aluminide. Oh, this is titanium iridium, and this is titanium aluminide, which is just an alloy of titanium and aluminum. And then the other one is titanium and iridium. Yeah, iridium and titanium. And cool, when they mix, they make two. So, should I go straight into the advanced rocket engines? Oh, let me check one thing, though, before I get too excited. Liquid-fueled engine. Yeah, to get this quest dinger, I probably have to, have to make the liquid fuel engine. So I'm not going to risk it by making the upgraded one yet. And I, re I did research why the chemical reactor wasn't working for me the other day, and it's kind of un it's kind of confusing. I found out that last update, the mod author turned off rocket fuel from the chemical reactor, and I that like I get it like that the mod author wants you to go immersive engineering, and make another machine so that you you know it's more intertwined, but like how can you turn off rocket fuel f inside a mod 
specifically that needs rockets and rocket fuel. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Okay, so we have no plates. We need three. Let's see. I want to do one, two, three, four, five engines. That's 15 plates. So let's see. Titanium. Let's make 15 plates. Bam, bam, bam. And when that 15 hits, let's go, let's go. Oh wait, yeah, the three that I pulled, duh. There's, there we go, five and 15. Maybe that's a great number actually, two seats. I'm gonna try to see if both Trin and myself can ride the same rocket. I don't know how these mods are programmed when you're playing with other people. So I'm really hoping that she doesn't need to have her own rocket and that we can join the same instance of the moon. I really hope so. Or at least land in the same place. You know, if the entire moon is one instance, we need to land in the same spot. Uh, so maybe I'm hoping if she sits on the rocket and I lift off, it'll take her with us. Uh, we need the guidance computer. Guidance computer, guidance computer access hatch. That's weird. All right, let's see. We need four of these tracking units. So we can go the precision assembler. Cool, we can use a machine, I like that. And we needed uh, another titanium plate. I'll hit that and then teleport to new mechanism. And then as soon as we have another energy crisis, I'll build that nuclear craft fusion reactor that I have already have the fluids ready for it. I just, uh, I wanna get to space. Uh, and right now the mechanism fusion is uh, doing 200K of what I need. So that works really well. Oh, and I, I, I learned a little bit on conduit facades. So I made this look pretty. And I hid these cables because they were run. I run them along the top. I ran them along the top, and now I have them nice and pretty with the uh, conduit facades. All of the machines look great. So let's see. We want to make the guidance computer. So we need the precision assemble assembler with eyes of Ender. Good. I got forty one. Uh, let's do 20. Mm, 10. We need redstone. And we need the basic circuits. Did I make them? Basic circuit. Basic circuit plate. Didn't I make like a boatload of these? Did I run them all through and make basic circuits out of them? Guidance computer. Basic circuits. So I need silicone wafers, conductive iron, a conductive iron grinding balls, and apatine. We need the ball, conductive balls. We need the silicone. Okay, we still have wafers, good. And we need the, man, I already forgot. Apatine electron tubes. Which I don't have anymore, really? Okay, so Appetite and Redstone.
and redstone. And let's go visit the thermionic fabricator real quick. Turn you on. Grab some sand. Which sand is already in the machine. And then those. And let's see, apatine. And plus. And let's see, I can speed you up. There we go. Cool. And let's put you up. You, you, you. Nice. And let's see, I can eat some, some new foods. Nice. Get that extra hearts. I can't wait till I get to purple hearts. All right. Guidance. No, the precision assembler. Keep wanting to jump the gun. Precision assembler, we'll just put these in here. Go ahead and make straight up 10. All right, and then tracking units back into the precision assembler. 10, 10, oh, that's the output hatch. 10, 10 in there. Cool, get some 10 tracking units going. Thank you very much. And let's make this guidance computer. Sweet. Guidance computer, go. And what else did you need for the questinger? The planet ID chip, which I'm going to make three of. Planet ID chip. We need the blue chip, satellite ID chip, okay. Three, and then we need these. Three, nice, that was easy. And now we should get the questinger. And rocket fuel, this is the problem. Your rocket needs fuel to work. The following liquids are viable rocket fuels. Rocket fuel, refined fuel, cool. Pyroth wow, pyrothium, cool. Neutron, liquid oxygen, there we go. Liquid starlight, nice. UU matter, rocket fuel is made in the mixer multi-block. Yeah, the mixer multi-block is immersive engineering. So yeah, cool. Oh, and is it just letting me know? So I'm going definitely going to go with liquid oxygen. That's probably the easiest way. It doesn't require items. It only requires a sink and two machines. Detect and claim. Cool. We got that done. Uh, dilithium ore is the moon. So I definitely have to dedicate the rest of this episode to making the spacesuit and the suit workstation and the upgrades. Let's see. What's in our chest? Bunch of the same stuff. So we can put tracking units, name tag, bread, redstone, wheat, put this stuff up, mana in a bottle. I wonder if you could just empty that mana in a bottle into a mana pool. That'd be super convenient. So yeah, we need to make the spacesuit. So first I want to make armor stands, two of these armor stands. Cool, that's for me. And then spacesuit. We need two of these. Oh, it's gonna use my tanks. Iron rods, steel fan, I probably need these. And one. And what was in the middle? The liquid fuel tank. Two. Can't stack them. Pants. Okay, one. And two. And let's see, advanced, at advanced rocketry, at, at advanced, where is the spacesuit? There's the boots, no, those are padded landing boots, that's an upgrade. 
Let's see, where are you? There's the boots. Space boots. One and two. And then seal detector, that's not the helmet. Anti-fog visor is an upgrade. Beacon finder. Oh, I'm looking right past it because it looks like something else. Space helmet. One and two, cool. So that's both Trin and my space suits going. Then we need the suit station. Suit workstation. Oh, that's easy. Cool. I wonder if it needs power. Suited up advancement. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so spacesuit. Nice. We got the suit workstation. Also nice. Various spacesuit parts can be modified in the suit workstation. You can add things like a jetpack and padding to your boots. I'm probably not going to add the jetpack because I'm really hoping Creative Flight will still work. I hope GP crosses dimensions. Alright. Loot chest, anything? Marshmallows? Engraved Thunder? Single shot. Oh, mode single shot. Dude, I have so many of these Lexica Batanias now because of this. Another summoning pendulum. I need to put these into use. Let's see, we have no room. That, 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 this, 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 that, this. And let's go upstairs real quick. It is daytime, unfortunately. I cannot sleep off the rain. I want to put the armor stands. Let's put it here. And let's put one here. And then let's put the suit. On display. Neat. Space suits. And let's put the suit workstation between it, or in front of it, right there. In front of it? Does that look good in front? Does it need power? No, I don't think it needs power. And then while I'm up here, let's put down like that, like that, like this, this, and that's how I want to want the spaceship to look. And then I need the fuel tanks. Like this. And then maybe put them in between. Should I put them in between? that because I know I want to put a little bit more. It needs to have at least two more for it to be symmetrical. I'm going to use glass for the top. Let's check out these upgrades real quick. Because I know we're going to need tanks. And let's see, I think tank. Should I go straight into titanium? Super high pressure tanks are made with the rolling machine. So I do need the rolling machine to make tanks. That That's what's going to end up holding the oxygen that we breathe. Do all of these tanks require the rolling machine? They look like they all require rolling machines. Tank of oxygen. Rolling machine requires lubricant. Lubricant comes out of the distillation tower. I was really hoping I did not need to build this monstrosity. Titanium sheets can come out of the rolling machine. 
Wait, what? Okay, so it's it's nested. I need to put plates in the rolling machine to make sheets and then put them back in again to make tanks. And these tanks I need for uh, holding the oxygen that we're going to be needing to breathe. And let's see, is the rolling machine? Yeah, the rolling machine is a quest. It doesn't look too bad. Let's see. So we need the upgrades, which the most important upgrade, of course, is going to be the, uh, the, the oxygen tanks. We need that. Plus, we do need to make liquid oxygen as well. Can this machine... This machine makes oxygen, right? Oxygen? But it's pink. So let's make a rotary condenserator real quick to turn it from a... Is it a... It's millibuckets, right? Advanced rocketry... Let's see what it is. Can I use a bucket on this tank side? I need to put some more buckets in my... There we go. Can I bucket you? Oxygen bucket nuclear craft. Liquid oxygen. It has to be mechanism liquid oxygen, so... I don't think... Yeah, because it's nuclear craft liquid oxygen, it's not going to work. So I do need a rotary. I need to do another setup then. And let's see, did you refill already? Yeah, you refilled already, so you're okay. This one is still kind of frustrating me. I don't know why this fluid is empty. But the hydrogen in here is full, so maybe when I get the tank and I fill it up with hydrogen, it'll fix this. I don't know why this fluid hatch is empty. But let's make, we need an electrolyzer for, for the liquid fuel. Liquid oxygen, we need another electrolyzer. An electrolyzer. Electrolytic separator is what I meant. Electrolytic separator, we need that. Electrolytic core an electrolytic separator, and we need a rotary condenserator. And let's see, we just need this side, a basic tank, I'll put them down here, a basic gas tank, and we need the energy tablet. And now we should be able to do it. Nice, there we go. So, I will run fluids this way should I put it right next to the machine do you think that would cut like I'm gonna give it some space last thing I need is for there to be some kind of a weird conflict with cables cool so there's that from here whoa that oh yeah that was the facade so yeah the water we need the liquid. Where are you, fluid? There you are, ender fluid. Well, no, I need you to go down one, right? Yeah, I need you to go down. And let's do this right. Okay, down one, excellent. Let's just make sure that this is an extract as well. May I wonder if it'll extract twice as fast now. I'm not sure. Run you down here. So we need this. Let's see if I can put the electrolytic separator right on top of this guy. Nice, water. 
Okay, and are you making... Wait. Why aren't you doing it, though? Power. Duh. God, why do I do that? <laughs> Power. I think it's because I'm not used to uh, Ender I.O., and I'm thinking cable. I plugged in the cable, but yeah, you need to run power to... Come on, D-Day. Like so. And how are you doing now? Making hydrogen and oxygen. I'm going to dump the excess of that because I want just the oxygen. And then I'm hoping, I'm looking at the front of the machine, I'm hoping oxygen is going to exit through this side. So let's put the rotary condenserator down and see how you're going to do it. Oxygen! Loving it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Condenserating. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. And power. There and there. Okay, liquid oxygen. Boo yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then I don't need this one. Cool. So you are now busy making liquid oxygen. And then let's see, can I... There's no toggle. I'm not going to toggle because that switches between condenserating and decondenserating. Decondensing sorry. Decondensing And condensing I will need the ender tanks now. Which... I was talking about repurposing these, right? If I switch this with a different tank, I can repurpose these two. Let's try that. I need just a regular tank now. These are full. We Let's make just one of these. And then, if I remove this and place this, it should do exactly the same thing, right? Do I need to flip the switch at all? Upgrade speed and energy, okay. How did I plug these in? Was it just power and then I just it just worked, right? And now you don't want to? Well, don't throw them. Uh, let's see with the How did I want to do this? I wanted to check the crescent hammer and see can I if I switch this will it now? No, it will not. Conduit facade. Break you. Turn you into ender energy. Insert. Active without signal. Now. breaks both. I should have used the Yetta wrench. Uh, ender fluid. Here and here. Why'd you go over here? And here. 
we're going to extract on brown. We're going to insert on brown and extract on green. Extract on green, active without signal, insert on brown. Extract on brown, active without signal. This should work. Maybe it just doesn't like this tank. Also, I don't need this down here. Power. I have just disconnected power. Power. In. Power. Going. Cool. Oh, am I looking at the power one? No, that's power. Insert. Active without signal. The fluid. Extract on brown. No. Insert extract. I wonder if there's some kind of a conflict with this. Can I do priority one and have you fill up now? Guess it really doesn't matter if I plug in a tank in between anymore because the it it can just come straight from the machine. So I'm just gonna leave this here for right now because I did not want to get stuck with the liquid chlorine right now. I just wanted to repurpose the ender tanks. So let's abandon that real quick. Let me grab the tanks and then. I think, let's see if I can do something where I get rid of the fluid. Fluid, and then fluid trash can. Fluid trash can. And here, let's see, can I do this? And extract. There we go. Are you empty? Empty of that. Nice. So that worked. Perfect. So now we have rocket fuel on uh, on yellow, which kind of makes sense. Let's put you here. Are you going to fill? says liquid chlorine zero. I hope it can be repurposed. All right, fluid. And then we'll do fluid. No, dude. I'm going to extract from here on brown. And then let's see. Insert here on brown. Water? Oh, because, yeah. I totally forgot. It's uh, brown is being used for water, I think. Come on, creative flight. Thank you. Extract on green. Extract on green. So that's the water. Come on, buddy. Then it goes in here. And it inserts 
on green. But then I wanted this thing I only want you to ex or extract on brown. And then I want you to insert on brown. And now I have to purge you again. Or actually, yeah, let me purge the other one. Okay, there goes the water. liquid oxygen, extract on brown active without signal, insert on brown active without signal, blue, blue, can you go in now? Come on, dude. Come on. Just go in. Insert on blue. Active without signal. Let me grab the Yetta wrench, see if I can pull this one off. Okay. Extract on blue. Just go in, dude. Extract active without signal. Insert. Channel blue active without signal. What on earth am I doing wrong? liquid oxygen. Always the mechanism machines. Water. Insert. Extract. Is it me or like it's the other side wasn't working either? I just want you to go in there. Jeez. Is it one of these dumb things again where it has to be f from a specific side? Like you can't pull it from the bottom, huh? mechanism. Let me see if it's some cheese like that. You make me pull it out this side, huh? Dude. 
extract always active. There we go. So yeah, you couldn't pull from the bottom. So there's liquid oxygen. And now I have a cable above ground. I don't like that I have the cable above ground. That's what I was trying to avoid. But, I mean, it works. Put some more facades, hide this stuff, but I have to have this cable up here. Maybe I'll think of some cool facade and I'll just place it like that in between. But there's our liquid oxygen. That's going to be the fuel that we need. Uh, and then let's go upstairs real quick. So this is probably the same thing. It won't in, it won't pull from the bottom. So instead of goofing around like that, let me hook up the power. Power is hooked up, always active. And let's just plug this in right there then. And that runs the fluid, okay. And then we're gonna extract, always active on green. And we're gonna insert over here, insert, always active on green insert so that should solve that problem as well put some more facades up and we need next time we need to build the rolling machine we have to build that so that we can get the tanks so we can get our suits upgraded let's go check out the uh while well, it's not raining is where we'll put the suit upgrades and then rocket assembling machine. We have the fueling station here. So let's see if I can pull this off. Will it auto pull from here if I place it right here? Yes, thank you. Thank you for mods that are just smart. So yeah, that's how the liquid oxygen is now inside the fueling station. And let's see, the linker should work now, right? You link this guy, shift. No, I need to link this guy, shift link, and then shift link the ship. Maybe the maybe the, the the ship has to be built first before I can link it and reef and, and fill it. Liquid oxygen. We're doing well. It's making more. Alright. Alright, rolling machine. And all that stuff. That I'll have to make that next next time then, because I ran out of time. We'll make the rolling machine so that we can make the tanks. And that'll that is the bare minimum on upgrades that we need to put into the spacesuits so that uh, we can go to the moon. So on that note, uh, it's F1. Show the two suits. On that note, uh, thank you so much for watching and tune in next time.